In this video, we're gonna cover Xenia Canary setup for the Xbox Series X and S. All right, everybody, Sir Magler has just released another awesome update for Xenia Canary for UWP, and this time it has front end support. So now you can change your paths over to USB, you have a games list, and you can adjust some settings for the emulator. The games list is pretty bare bones, but that is A-OK -okay in my book. It works, and that is all that is really important. So once again, big thank you to Sir Mangler for doing the impossible and getting this up and running on Xbox Series X and S in the first place. Thank you to Reverie, TXF, TRW for helping with the front end and testing. Like, just a solid group of people making this all possible for everyone to enjoy. But let's go ahead and dive in. Now before we get started, Sir Mangler has sent an open letter over to the Xbox emulation community through Twit Longer. In this letter, Sir Mangler explains how they are currently between jobs, and if even 3% of the Xbox emulation community that's part of the Xbox emulation Discord were to donate a dollar, they would be able to do this full time for 6 months. Now, considering a lot of you probably aren't a part of that Discord server like myself, we can also make this happen by heading over to Sir Mangler's coffee page and donating. So I went ahead and dropped some support and I hope you all will too. Link to Sir Mangler's coffee will be in the description below. You can also check out the twit longer. But if you care about this scene, definitely consider dropping a dollar or more. It can't be stated enough how little really makes a difference to creators and programmers and everyone involved. Now as you get started with wanting to install Xenia Canary, you need to decide if you want to do this in dev mode or retail mode. So I'm going to start with dev mode as that's what I personally use. So if you haven't gotten dev mode set up, link in the description below will take you to my RetroArch setup guide. It'll take you through all of the steps for getting signed up for dev mode, so that way you can continue along with this guide and get Xenia Canary set up in dev mode. So once you have dev mode set up, you just need to head over to Sir Mangler's GitHub page and download the latest version of Xenia Canary. So just click on the download link and the link to this GitHub will be in the description below as always. And now to get it installed, just make note of your Xbox's remote access IP address and get it typed into your web browser. And if you get a warning about your connection not being private, just click on the advanced button and to continue anyway, and then enter your username and password if needed. And now to get Xenia installed, all you need to do is click on the add button, choose file, Navigate to where you have the AppX package, or you could drag it into the box here, doesn't matter either way. But just select it and click on Next. There's no dependencies for this one, so click on Start. And there we go, package successfully installed, done. All right, and with that, you can close out of your Xbox device portal. We don't need it from this point on. So now to complete the install process, head back over to your Xbox and navigate down to the Xenia Canary entry here and press the view button, back button on your controller. Head down to view details. Change the UWP type from app to game. And then from here, just go ahead and restart your Xbox. And after your Xbox is finished rebooting, you can go back down to Xenia Canary and check that the change has taken effect. Cool. That is now ready to go. Now, everyone interested in running Xenia Canary in retail mode, you are going to need to join the Gamer13 Discord and wait for them to post the app links for you to then add it to your Microsoft account that you can then download on your Xbox. So you can head over to Gamer13's GitHub page for a link to the Discord and move on from there if you so desire. Now, regardless if you have chosen to do retail or dev mode, you need to make sure that you have a properly set up USB drive of any variety, SSD, hard drive, thumb drive, doesn't matter, but it needs to be set up correctly, otherwise things will not work out right for you. So it needs to be formatted to NTFS with proper security permissions. If you followed along with any of my tutorials, I've shown you how to manually do it in the past. My RetroArch setup video has it, my Dolphin video has it, my XBSX2 video has it, but I've also gone through in the last week and made new videos on how to properly set up a USB drive so you can do that on PC or Mac. I have a video for both. Links to these will be in the description below, but please make sure that you get your USB drive set up. Otherwise things will just not work correctly and you will encounter issues. But once you get a properly set up USB drive, we just need to add some Xbox 360 games to it so we can play them on Xenia Canary. 
So I'm still working on my Xbox 360 dumping guides for disc-based games, as well as Xbox Live Arcade and Games On Demand games. So those are coming, I promise. But until uh, just source them however you feel like doing. Again, illegal download links are not provided on this channel, so don't ask, please. Xbox 360 games can come in a variety of formats. Xenia Canary needs them in extracted formats, so just the base game files right here in a subfolder. And then Xbox Live Arcade games will just be in their standard file format here. But you may have a ton of ISO disk-based games. I don't know. I don't know what you use them for. But ISO files don't currently work on Xenia Canary, so you do need to get them extracted for them to run on the emulator. So the tool that I personally use to extract them comes from Xbox Dev and it is Extract XISO and you can just download the latest release from 2022 here. And once it's downloaded, you can just get it extracted. And inside the folder, you will see an Extract XISO EXE. So just drag this into your games folder and then you can begin extracting your Xbox games one at a time just by dragging them onto the program. And there we go. And there we go, all my games are now extracted into the proper format to work with Xenia Canary. So I'm just gonna delete the original ISOs, I have them backed up somewhere else so I don't need them here. And then I can get rid of Extract X ISO as well. Now I'm just gonna add this Xbox 360 games folder onto my USB drive. And there we go, games transferred over to the USB drive. So, there is one more optional step you could do here, depending on if you want to save your Xenia configuration over to your USB drive, so that way you don't have to worry about backing up saves every time a new update comes out. The new Xenia frontend allows you to change your directories for saving Xenia's config settings. So if you wish to move it over to USB like I do, you could just create a new folder and just name it something like Xenia. It doesn't really matter what you name it, just name it something that you know what it is. But with that, we are now ready to move over to our Xbox. So unplug your USB drive from your computer and plug it into the Xbox. Now, just as a reminder, if this is the first time you're using this USB drive on an Xbox and it asks you to format it as media or game storage, choose media. Otherwise, everything you've done will be deleted and you have to start over from scratch. But once the drive is good to go, go ahead and launch into Xenia Canary. All right, so first off, we are gonna head over to the Paths tab here on the right. So just press A to select it. And if you plan to change your config folders path, go ahead and do that first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this to my USB drive. So if you get stuck down here, just press the view back button on your controller to move back over to the side tab here. And then you can select your USB drive. And then I'm gonna select the Xenia folder here. And now press the back button again to press select. And to make sure that that change is taking effect, I'm just gonna go ahead and close out a Xenia Canary here and relaunch it. And there we go. So now head back over to Paths and we can add our game directory now. So click on Add Path. Scroll down to USB, Games, and find where your games are stored. So I put mine in Xbox 360 games. And once you have the folder selected, press your back button again and choose select. And then you can just head back over to the games list now. And depending on how many files and stuff there are, it could take a while for it to actually load up your games list. It really just depends on how many loose files are in individual folders. So it may look like Xenia locked up, but just give it a minute to let it finish parsing through all the files. Now, unfortunately, there are a good number of files that could be read as executables within Xenia, so there's quite a few of them. I'm hoping there'll be a way to narrow this down in the future, but for now it's kind of what we got. But that's all right. You can go through and you can still see which ones are your game files. So again, your Xbox Live Arcade games, if you haven't renamed them to individual game names, they'll just appear as a bunch of numbers, so these ones are my Xbox Live Arcade games. And then I've got Ace Combat 6, Eternal Sonata, Fracture, Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. But to play a game, all you need to do is select it and it should boot up. So here we are, Marvel vs. Capcom Origins running on Xbox Series X and S through the Xenia emulator. Very cool stuff. And now for a retail disc example, here's Fracture. 
So there we go, Fracture up and running on Xenia Canary. Again, this is a work in progress emulator, so there are still a number of graphical bugs and glitches, such as me appearing behind the smoke in the background here. And that's just to be expected. This is not a perfect emulator yet. Like this is still very much a work in progress emulator, even on PC. So very cool what we were able to do with it. Very cool how many games are really playable with it, but again, it's not perfect, so you can expect some problems. But still really cool what you can do with it. Now, it is also worth noting that a new settings tab has been added with the inclusion of the front end, and this lets you change a number of different settings on Xenia Canary. But as the note in the bottom states, Xenia Canary is a work in progress emulator. Settings should be considered hacks and may cause orfix, crashes, and other problems. Edit these settings at your own risk. So there you go. You can change things around in here if desired, but do know that it could break stuff. So mess with it at your own risk. If something breaks, you could just revert the change and then it should fix it. But you do have some fun settings like resolution scale, scaling and sharpening effects, and then and anti-aliasing. So again, mess with these at your own risk. But there you have it, Xenia Canary set up on Xbox Series X and S with the new front end from Sir Mangler. Just great progress overall. Really happy to see this front end come in. It really makes the whole experience a lot better. And it's just going to be really exciting to see where this emulator goes in the next few years. But thank you so much as always for watching today's tutorial. I hope it helps you get your Xbox 360 emulation project set up to your liking and capability. But here at the end, as always, I do have a couple of big favors to ask. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, depending on how much you like today's tutorial, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new content goes live on the channel. Loads coming your way, and I'd always love to have you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keep it going, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current backers. Thank you so much for being amazing and believing in what we do here. You are the truest of champs and you're just amazing rock stars. Thank you so much again. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.